today we will be making this. Tell me why it's hard for me to see that you stole everything from me. Tell me why the girl I love the most feeds on me like I'm a host. And I don't know why I even try. Before we start, make sure you check out this talented guy. We are using his song for the video. Link to the full song will be in the description. Let's get to the video. We will prepare the background using Photoshop. Here I will drag and drop this image. Make a new layer and start making a frame. I am using a simple brush tool and making some borders around the image. Actually I am going for Nightcore Music Channel's style, they usually make videos in this style and I really love it, I thought I should try and share my method of doing it. Obviously this is not the exact or only way of making these videos. You can experiment and see what is looking good. See I am choosing colors from the painting and adding to the borders. I am done applying the colors. Let's choose a particles brush and add some sparkles to the border. You can use any brush that is available in your version of Photoshop. Let's make some lines, something like rope. You can make stars using the lasso tool. I like to use it instead of bent tool. You can add anything that you think will fit. I will make some stars, particles and little moon or sparkles. When you are done, save this Photoshop file in your computer. Now open Adobe After Effects. First I will import the music file, then click the small button. It'll make a new composition. I am keeping duration time between 20 to 30 seconds just for the tutorial, you should put the actual length of the song. You can go for higher frame rate, but for now let's keep it simple. Click OK when you are done. Drop the audio file to your timeline. Right click in the project panel. And import your Photoshop file that you saved. Make sure to check these options and follow carefully. And check these options as well. Open this folder, and drag these three Photoshop layers to the timeline. Set up everything together before starting. I will flip the image, right click the image and choose flip horizontal. Right click the layer, and choose drop shadow effect from layer styles. Open it and tweak some settings.
right click again and choose stroke effect. Open the drop down menu and choose the color you want. You can see the image looks like a sticker. But I don't think we need to add these two effects, because those effects will not be visible when we will add glow effect. I am just experimenting while recording this tutorial. Alright, here we have the lyrics, let's type. Although we've covered this part several times but for those who are watching my videos first time, let's cover it one more time. Place the text somewhere on the screen. Right click and choose gradient overlay from layer styles. Open the layer, and here you will see edit gradient option, click this and choose your colors. When you're done selecting the colors, close the layer. Trim the layer coding to the vocals by dragging the corners. Drag and drop fade effect from the effects panel to your text layer. Set both values to 7%. Now your text should automatically fade in and out. You can click this little button to solo the text layer. By doing this you can only see the text layers. Listen to the song and add text accordingly. Open position and add keyframes. Select both keyframes, right click, easy ease both of them. Add one more keyframe. Now make it go out. Select all keyframes. Go to the graph editor, here make sure speed graph is selected. Adjust the speed curves like I am doing. Make a duplicate of the text layer. Change the lyrics. Select all the keyframes and adjust the position while you are at one of the keyframes. Offset the keyframes a little bit to give it the variation. Select both layers and duplicate them. Put these duplicates above all the layers, move them forward. Now simply type the other lyrics of the song on these duplicates. Now we'll do the same for the entire lyrics, select two layers, duplicate them and overwrite the text. I'm fast forwarding this process, I'm sure you get the idea. For this word, let's remove position keyframes, and add scale keyframes instead.
Okay, now you can release the solo switch so we can see the background. Select all the text layers. Right click and recompose them. Drag and drop curves effect to the text layer. Adjust the curves. Let's put curves effect to the image. Just little adjustments to make it more blue or purple. Search for bass and treble effect and put it to the audio layer. Set the bass to 100 and treble to minus 100. I'll explain later what we are doing it for. Now right click the audio layer and select create audio to keyframes. You can delete the bass and treble effect from the audio now. Purpose of doing this was to make low frequencies more present and eliminate high frequencies, because the audio reactor reacts to the low frequencies, so it'll give the image more bass to react on. Okay, let's delete these two channels. Open both channels menu and click this little wave button. Go to the graph editor. Here select value graph. These high waves you are seeing, represents the bass frequencies and we have to note the numbers of treble and bass values. In my case the bass values are almost 80 to 90, and treble values are 20 to 40. Alright, I'll click the stopwatch, and type this code. If you want to learn this code in depth, I have a detailed video explaining this, you can check out. Now drag and drop low effect to the image layer. Let's minimize all the previous effects. Set the glow settings like I'm doing. Open this layer and go down all the way to effects opacity. I'll click the stopwatch and attach this to the boat slider. Now the glow effect should react smoothly to the base. Put glow effect one more time and tweak the settings. Set this to alpha channel and I think it looks good. Make a solid layer and put CC particle world effect to this layer. Follow my steps. This effect is easy to use but a little hard to explain, but you can still follow what I am doing, most of this is default. Okay, let's rotate the particles layer and put this behind the image. Mask out the edges so it doesn't look sharp. You hurt me 
Put transform effect to the adjustment layer. Increase the scale a little bit. I'll click the position and type the small expression. It will give random movement to the video. Do the same for rotation. And we are done. I hope you liked the tutorial, if yes then subscribe to the channel and press the like button. I'll get back with another tutorial. Goodbye. Tell me why it's hard for me to see, that you stole everything from me. Tell me why the girl I love the most, feeds on me like I'm a host. And I don't know why. You